What is going on, everybody? Today, we are going to analyze the tape of first-round pick Mozzie Smith. To me, the guy looked very, very good on tape yesterday, and I don't think most people had that same opinion. At least from some of the tweets and things that have been circulating on social media, some people have kind of written off Mozzie Smith that he had a bad game, and I don't know how people get that narrative, especially without watching the tape. Because when you put the tape on, it's very clear. Smith was doubled more than anybody else, and it makes sense. The guy's strong as hell, he's big as hell, and he's primarily being brought in as that run defender. And you see plays like this where he does a really nice job holding his own against the double team. Think about this right here. Smith is going up against a first string offensive lineman of the Jags, and he does a great job getting his hands into that right guard right there, holding his own. He gets double teamed, but when the right tackle gets off of him, you see that he's underneath that guard, and he's holding up the double team. He's eating the blockers. He's eating up space. And to me, this is exactly what you want to see by a guy like Mozzie Smith. Never underestimate the leverage. I mean, look at how low he is. He has both hands into the chest of this guy. He's lower than both of those offensive linemen. I mean, this is impressive as hell. And you can see he really controls that guard right there. Like, there's no movement on Smith in this play. And he really eats up the two guys and he doesn't get moved a whole lot. So to me, that's just a really, really nice shot. And keep in mind, when you're double teaming one defensive lineman, that leaves it for the other defensive lineman. In this instance, it's Osa Odegizua to go out and make the play. And in this instance, he does make the play. So really nice job. I'm really fired up to break down Smith. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. So I think one of the things that a lot of people saw yesterday was that Smith wasn't necessarily making plays. And for that, they may have written it off a little bit. But when you look at it at an individual level and you look at him and he, only him, you see plays like this, right, where he gets off the block. And to me, this is positive. These are the little things that you want to watch on tape. On this play, you obviously got a down block here by the left guard on Mozzie Smith. You get a bunch of down blocks and basically one of these guys is going to kind of pull. And the run is to the right of your screen. So for Smith, he just has to kind of get used to and feel out how to kind of process these down blocks. When he gets down blocked here, you see him fight through and he gets off the block, right? He's going to get that guard off of him. He's going to break the contact, get off of it. And now he's going to go and chase the play. And I know, he, I know he doesn't make the play here, right? He's not the first guy in there. But just keep in mind that these little things, right? Fighting through a guy, getting off the block over time as Mozzie Smith is out there with, you know, Michael Parsons and Leighton Vanderash and Donovan Wilson and all the first string guys. As he continues to get better, as he continues to understand the different leverages and techniques that guys are trying to use to beat him, it's going to be easier for him. He's going to recognize this better and he's going to get off the block quicker. But he's already doing this. And I think that's a big thing to consider. All right, you guys, check this play out. It's a game of two yards. Uh, watch Smith once again get double teamed. He eats it up. The linebacker goes free in this instance. And to me, this is once again what you expect from a guy in Mozzie Smith. He's going to get that double team. He's going to have to learn to continue to stay low, take these guys on and hold your block. And he does do that pretty well in this play, right? He's going to eat up both guys. You see that Damone Clark here basically goes free because of that. He jumps to the inside. He doesn't make the play. The Marvin Overshone does a really nice job here jumping the gap to the inside. But still, once again, Smith is taking on the double team and he's eating it up, right? He's eating up those blockers. And I think that right there is going to translate into him possibly having success because that's kind of what he was drafted for, right? Especially early on in his career. Uh, and his pass rush is something he'll have to develop. And we'll get into that a little bit later on. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Watch the displacement on this play by Mozzie Smith on the center. Keep in mind, they're running a defensive line game between him and Odegizua. But you see right away, as soon as he gets out of his stance, you see that left hand land to the inside chest plate of that center. And he's going to move this guy. Look at that. Look at that movement that he's creating. All right. This is not a position you want to be in as a center, but Smith is strong. He has that strength to move 300 pound linemen against their will. And that's a nice job. Now, obviously, as you guys see, he gets doubled, almost triple teamed if you count that right guard as well. It is a defensive line game. Odegi Zua is kind of coming free around. And you see also Sam Williams gets in there and smacks the quarterback. That's a nice shot by Sam Williams. But once again, right, you see that power by Mozzie Smith. And keep in mind, this is a defensive line game. He's going first. And this is what you're going to expect from him a lot, right? When you run games, especially if you're the guy that goes first, 
Your goal is to take one guy, put your body into a second guy, and hold both guys. And that lets the other guy kind of go free. And in this instance, you see Odigizua does technically go free because Mozzie Smith eats up the two guys. And technically, he eats up the third guy, which is the right guard. I don't know why the right guard leans into Smith so much right there. Uh, he obviously makes a mistake leaning. Doesn't see Osa kind of coming around there. Regardless, you can see that Mozzie Smith does a pretty nice job eating up the two guys. So to me, it's a nice job for him to kind of get used to these, right? He'll be doing this a lot when they run these interior defensive line games. So let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Talking about strength once again, watch Smith get under the center right here and just drive him back. And you see he does get double teamed and he does get pancaked on this play. Uh, but again, to me, the strength, it, it sticks out. And we'll slow it down because you may not have seen it in the real time speed. But you see Smith get low with this center and look at him push. And you can see he has the control, right? You can see him extend the arms out, right? You can see him lift this guy and start pushing him backwards. And that's a nice job right there by Smith to start to collapse that pocket. Now he does get double teamed. And we'll go ahead and go to the all 22 angle. It may be a little bit easier to see Smith kind of uh, crush that center and have him kind of go backwards. You can see that he gets leverage. He starts pushing this guy back. And then he gets double teamed. But again, he had that control, right? And I think that's important to kind of understand that going forward, as Michael Parsons is in the game, as maybe it's Jonathan Hankins or Odeki Zua, uh, maybe it's one of these other defensive linemen. Once more of the guys that you can't single block, once those guys come into the game, you're not going to be necessarily able to double team Mozzie Smith, right? So you're not going to be able to, when he starts pushing your center back and collapsing the pocket, you're not going to be able to double team him, right? And I think that concept right there is what the Cowboys wanted when they brought Smith in. In fact, I think from a coaching standpoint, and I've seen some of the training camp clips, this is what he was doing a lot, right? I saw him do this to uh, Tyler Biadish a couple times, to Josh Ball a couple times, Matt Fournier. He was taking these guys and he was pushing them back. He was collapsing the pocket and he was making it difficult for the quarterbacks to step up. And that's the goal here, right? Obviously, he gets double teamed and he does get tossed to the ground. But again, he won't always be double teamed. And if he is, it'll free someone else up, right? Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. All right, you guys, check this next rep out. Watch Smith get double teamed again. He does a really nice shot fighting through it. You know, I think some people saw these reps, and I don't know if people just expect Smith to, like, stand still and, and take the double team on. And you're going to get moved a little bit, especially with the double team, but you can see he fights through this still, right? He's able to get off the block of that left guard. And to me, this is a great job because even though he gets double teamed and he gets moved just a little bit, He's able to still get off the block and contain that gap. In fact, there's nowhere to go right here. Even though there's a double team here, keep in mind this kind of frees up DeMarvian Overshown as well because the tackle is not able to cleanly get off this block. So the linebacker is technically unblocked. And you can see right there, he doesn't really make the play, but you can see he goes unblocked, right? And he goes unblocked because this tackle isn't able to double cleanly and get off and release into Overshown. All right, so again, the importance of being a true run defender, a true uh, space eater, right? That is what Mozzie Smith is. So to me, that's a really, really nice job. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. So of course, one of the things I like to do on this channel is not only show you guys the positive reps, but the negative ones as well. Uh, here's a double team block where he's going to end up going down. Uh, you can see he doesn't hold the block properly and this play hits for 34 yards. Now, this is not an inside run. Uh, to me, this is the corner, Eric Scott Jr., who does not contain the outside. But regardless of that, you do see that Smith does get double teamed, and he does get pushed quite a bit on this play. Uh, number 46, Malik Jefferson also kind of takes himself out of the play. The point of this play is to double here and then for the tackle to get up to 46. But because of the action of the backfield, and let me just show you guys what I mean. If you guys watch the running back, he's going to take a step to his right. And then he's going to come back to his left. And as he takes that step to his right, Malik Jefferson kind of mirrors that a little bit, right? Uh, and with that, he also kind of takes himself out of the play. Smith kind of gets pushed into him. And from there, you can see he's not able to make that ground up. And you see the running back picks up 35 yards. But again, not a great rep from Smith. You got to be, you got to do a little bit better job holding ground. 
Um, but with that being stated, let's get into another bad rep that we saw. This was earlier in the game. Uh, this was a 13-yard run. This was when the first string group was out there. The offensive line are going to run a pin-pull concept, and you're going to see Smith just isn't fast enough out of his stance. And I know that's kind of been, a you know, the talk of camp. You know, some people have made fun of Smith. Oh, he's not fast enough out of his stance or whatever. He's not quick enough, which isn't a big deal. Right. That's something that over time you're going to get faster. You're going to get better. Um, but to me, you got, you do got to keep this in mind. He's in the two eye technique here. He's lined up there to hold this gap. So there's no reason why the guard should be able to reach you here and seal you off. And in this instance, that guard does just that. He gets to the inside of Smith. Now, to be fair, you can see that other guys all kind of get reached as, as well. Right. So it's not just Smith, but uh, these are the type of things that. If you want to have a good run defense, you got to be able to fight through it. As long as one of these defensive linemen are able to fight through it, you can have success on this play. But you see that Osa initially also kind of gets hooked, but his block's a little bit harder to, to get through, right? Because the tackle here already has the angle as opposed to the guard here has to reach, right? So it's two different types of blocks. But again, I did want to just show you guys these plays because I think it is fair to show some criticism, show things that he needs to get better at because he's not a Hall of Fame Aaron Donald type player today, right? But he can obviously develop over time into a good player in his own. All right, you guys, check this play out here. He's lined up in the three technique, which means he has the gap to the right of that guard right there. Now, I say that because this is a zone run to the right of the formation. Watch Smith this time fight through that block, and he's going to absolutely crush this guy. Now, keep in mind, this is not the first string group. So it's a little bit easier as opposed to the very last play I just showed you guys in which he got... Um, you know, reached on by the guard, but this is a really, really good rep. You see Smith get physical with this guy, right? The guy's trying to reach. He gets his hands right to the inside, and from there, he's going to just fight through it. Keep in mind, the, the job of this guard is to reach on Smith, right? It's to turn the body where you're a bit of seal this guy off and have the running back hit the lane here. And of course, that's not going to work because Smith absolutely fights through it. He resets the line of scrimmage, so the running back has to cut it back sooner. It is still an eight-yard gain. You can see Sam Williams isn't able to kind of get there. And the backside kind of loses the containment because they get cut from the tight end. Uh, that's a nice shot by the running back as well, right? Really nice shot kind of seeing the lane develop. But keep in mind, you know, for our defense to work, every single guy has to be in their run fit. If one guy's out of their run fit, especially on a zone run, you're going to get an eight-yard run, right? We saw a 35-yard run as well just a couple of plays ago where Eric, Eric Scott didn't keep containment. And that's, that's how it works in the NFL, right? If every guy is not doing their job, you're not going to have success. And in this instance here, Smith, at least individually, we see did, did his job, right? So just kind of keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. This right here is where Mozzie Smith makes his money. First down from the four-yard line. Watch him crush this right guard and reset the line of scrimmage. I mean, this right here. You know, when Mozzie Smith told us he doesn't like football, he just likes to hit people. This is what he was talking about right here. Look how much more explosive he was, right? He knew what his job responsibility was. He knew that he needed to take this right guard and he needed to just go right through him. Reset the line of scrimmage and make it hard for the running back to find any sort of lane. And he does a great job getting underneath this guy and absolutely pushing him backwards. He resets the line of scrimmage, as you guys can see. The running back cannot cut it out, and even if he cuts in and tries to get through this lane here, Smith has the guard controlled. He has both hands in him extended. He has his eyes, and he's two-gapping this, and there's just nowhere for the running back to go, and this play right here picks up no yards. That's a beautiful rep by Mozzie Smith. Second down from the two-yard line, literally the very next play. Once again, Smith's going to do a great job just creating and eating up space right? You see he gets in there right there. It's just a gain of about two yards. But once again, you see him take it to that guy, right? He gets underneath him. He's physical. He's tough. Uh, he creates that separation. I think that's the big part of this play that I like, right? And he doesn't get too low, but on this one, he does a good enough job where he's able to use the left hand to create separation. And I think the guard also knows he has the double team. So the guard just has to kind of get lower and try to stand up Smith because he has that double team from the tackle. But again, the left hand right there is controlling that lineman. Plus, in goal line situations, when, when Smith is getting double teamed right, as long as he controls one guy, the rest of the defense is going to flow, right? As you see the defense here flowing and kind of containing the gap. That's a great job, 
right? Because when that tackle gets off, Mozzie Smith, and, and just look at the position he's in, man. He's low as hell, is holding his block, is going to try to get off the block. That's just a really, really, really nice play. The running back has nowhere to go on this play, and Smith's right there in the middle defending this, this run right here, and you can see that the play ends up getting stopped. That's a beautiful, beautiful rep. And on third and two, which is the very next play, uh, the quarterback's going to keep the ball and, and he's going to score a touchdown. But Smith does a pretty nice job once again, right? He's going to control this time the left guard. He gets lower than him. He extends out. He two gaps this. And again, a very, very nice job. You know, if the running back had the ball, um, and, and keep in mind, I don't know how hard it is for Smith to recognize if the running back has the ball right now or not. But when you see this guy coming towards you, I don't, I think it's so quick. You don't know if he has the ball or not. And I think Smith's kind of standing right there in the gap. Uh, so just an interesting wrap right there. Obviously, it is a touchdown, but let's go ahead and get to the next play. Check this play out once again. Mozzie Smith's going to eat it up, toss it, make the play. Just a beautiful job right there. Uh, these are the, I think these are the plays that a lot of people aren't going to necessarily see because unless you have the end zone angle, unless you're watching the tape, you're not seeing this play right here because from the broadcast angle, it looks, it looks ugly, right? It gets messy. It's hard to see. Um, but Smith does a really, really, really nice shot. Again, he gets double teamed. Uh, he controls that guard and he throws him to the side, gets off the block. And the running back cannot bounce this to the outside. Sometimes you'll see Smith win his block and he's kind of standing there waiting for the play. But the running back just bounces it to the outside and picks up 35 yards. But in this instance, Smith's right there. The running back has nowhere to go. And look at Smith just get nasty and physical and pick this guy up and toss him to the side. That's a beautiful play right there. Check this rep out once again by Mozzie Smith. He just does a really, really good job against the run. And it's very, very clear. This guy knows what he's doing. This guy knows how to defend the run. You see him basically take on the double team. He doesn't get moved a whole lot. But at the same time, no lane develops, right? Nothing's really going to get created because you have to double team one guy, which allows another guy to possibly go free, right? In this instance, uh, number 41's free, 46. Also doesn't get blocked. No one touches him. Um, and that's partly because Mozzie Smith isn't being moved a whole lot, right? So to me, this is a really, really nice job defending the run. Now check this play out right here. This is a 26-yard run by the offense. You know, it's interesting because sometimes I think people see these runs right here and they kind of attribute it to maybe the interior defensive lineman. These plays right here are not for the interior defensive lineman to make, right? This has nothing to do with those guys. In fact, if you watch Smith, he's going to take that center and he's going to push him back, you know, two, three, four yards. And again, this is an outside run. This has nothing to do with the center. And I'm not sure which one of these guys loses their uh, run fit. I'm going to assume it's number 30 Brown there, but I'm not 100% sure. Regardless, this is not on the interior, guys. I want to just point that out. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. So like I pointed out earlier, when the Cowboys are going to run defensive line games, it's going to be Mozzie Smith going first. And he needs to eat up one and at least a second guy, right? Because that's going to free up possibly the guy running the game. In this instance, Devin Harper is going to come around, but both 91 and Smith are the ones to kind of slant hard to the inside. But you're going to see Smith does do a good job. He is going to actually take on two guys. So again, when you look at the defensive line game and kind of how it works, it is up to Smith if he's the first guy specifically to take on the double team, to take on and, and hold on to two guys. In this instance, he does. Now, you do see that the tackle kind of gets off of the other defensive end that was slanting as well, right? You got two guys slanting to the inside, number 50's coming around. So it would technically be up to those three guys to off switch. And if Smith takes on two guys, they're not going to be able to switch, right? You can see that towards the end of this, there is one guy here who is going to end up going free because the tackle gets off of him. So just an interesting concept, keeping in mind when these games do happen, it will be Mozzie Smith that goes first, right? And it will be his responsibility to hold on to blockers. And that's kind of one of his natural roles that he will take on his rookie season. Now, I do want to state this as well. You know, Smith did pass rush a number of times. A lot of it, he didn't really have a whole lot of success. But one thing that was very clear was he was able to, especially when he was single blocked, he was able to take his guy and push him back. Only one time in this entire game did someone anchor down on him. Uh, that was this guy here, number 67, who is a veteran. But any other guy that tried to single block him, they got pretty much pushed back the way you see here. He collapses the pocket. Uh, and this is kind of what you expect. That's actually a really, really good job 
collapsing the pocket. And I know he doesn't have the hand-to-hand pass rush technique yet. That's going to be the big thing in his game that he has to continue to develop. He has to develop the hand-to-hand technique. You know, he has to learn the cross chop. He has to learn to double hand swipe effectively and single hand swipe and fork. And he just has to learn all the different pass rush moves. You know, something that maybe a guy like Michael Parsons can possibly teach him. Demarcus Lawrence can possibly teach him, right? But he still has the power and, you know, short term, a lot of his pass rush is going to be power based, specifically around collapsing the pocket. And that is an important concept. And I hope people don't overlook that. Right. When Michael Parsons comes off the edge, you need a guy to collapse the pocket on the inside, because if a quarterback could just step up and throw the pass is is it doesn't work. Michael Parsons isn't going to get those sacks or Lawrence or Sam Williams or whoever is coming off the edge. Right. So this is an important con- uh, context here. It's a very important rule right? to collapse the pocket. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Alrighty, guys. So that last play was the final play that Mozzie Smith was in the game. He really didn't play in the fourth quarter a whole lot. To me, the guy looked very, very good. And I think some people are not going to really understand. And I hope if you guys watch this video all the way up until this point, drop a comment below and let me know you guys did. I always appreciate those people. But I don't think people understand. Mozzie Smith has a specific role. He is a raw player, almost similar to how Tyler Smith was when he came in his rookie season. They're raw players, but the things that they do do well, they're very, very good at it. Smith's a really, really good run defender. He knows how to eat up space. He knows how to play with leverage. He knows how to take on the double team. He knows how to collapse the pocket. He knows how to run defensive line games where he holds on to two people. The little things people will not notice, the people that don't watch tape. But as someone who watches a lot of offensive line and defensive line tape, I can tell you guys, Mozzie Smith has a lot of upside. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. We'll be following Smith's game over the course of this season. We'll also get into some offensive line content on this channel. So subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.